Hello, it's Dynamic Dan here, and this week I'm thinking all about Moses in the wilderness. Now, as the story goes, Moses led the Israelites out into the wilderness. And at first, it must have seemed like they were in the middle of nowhere. But they were okay because they were following God. Although they would have got very hungry and very thirsty. But the amazing thing is, when they were hungry, food fell from the sky. Wow, look at that. I don't think I'll eat this though. That would be foul play. It Oh no, I don't think a crow counts as foul. That joke was a bit bird-brained. To be honest, I'm just winging it. I think we'll let this crow go. Fly, crow fly, be free! Ah! Ooh, he looks angry. I think I ruffled his feathers. Oh well. I imagine it was a bit like that film, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Imagine food falling from the sky. And when they were thirsty, they were provided for too. Speaking of thirst, making these videos is thirsty work. It gets very hot here in this studio, so on the way here I got myself a super-sized drink. If you don't mind, I'll have a quick sip now. Oh, you won't believe this! They forgot my drink! Unbelievable! Oh, um, well at least they remembered a straw. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Yikes! Wow! Look at that! A massive straw! Oh, that's what I call super size! And you know, God calls us to be thirsty for Him and for His Word. I hope and I pray that you are this thirsty for God! Wow! You know, this was the last one in the shop too. I said, hey, this is the last straw! <laughs> when the Israelites were thirsty, they couldn't order a supersized drink. There were no McDonald's in the wilderness, although there might be now. They're everywhere. So the Israelites complained to Moses, who asked God for help. And God told him to hit a rock with a stick. Now I don't have a stick, so maybe you can all help. Everyone take an invisible stick and get ready to whack this rock. On three. One, two, three. Give it a good whack. Oh wow, look at that. Wow. Water from a stone. Well that rocks. Well, of course, it's in this story that Moses tells the people all about the Ten Commandments, which he reads from two tablets, which might have looked a bit like this one. Y no, not that kind of tablet. I mean, more like this one. There's a tablet. Uh, no, not that kind either. It was two stone tablets. And I'm going to show you now a really quick and easy way to learn the Ten Commandments on your fingers. And you might like to join in at home too. So, commandment number one. Hold up one finger. You shall have no other God before me. God is number one, the only one true God. Commandment number one, do not have any other gods before me. Commandment number two, hold up two fingers. You shall not worship idols, which just means you shall not bow down to others except God. Commandment number two, do not make false idols. Commandment number three, Hold up three fingers, and you see it looks a bit like a W. This commandment is all about remembering your words. Remember your words, do not misuse the name of the Lord. Commandment number three, do not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Commandment number four, hold up two sets of two fingers, put them together like a church roof. This one is about remembering the Sabbath day, Sunday, and keeping it holy. Go to church when you can, and also we need to remember to rest on the Sabbath. So you can take four fingers, like a pillow, and rest your head. But don't go to sleep, there's more commandments to come. Remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. Commandment number five. Honour your father and mother. Hold up five fingers, and salute. Salute, like you're respecting your parents and their authority. Commandment number five, honour your father and mother. Commandment number six, take your thumb and five fingers. This one is, do not kill. <clears throat> do not kill. A funny action, but a serious message. Do not kill. Commandment number seven, hold up two fingers and five fingers. The two fingers are the husband and wife. There are two people in a marriage and not five. The husband and wife are to love each other and stay together with each other for all their lives. Commandment number seven is do not commit adultery. 
Commandment number eight. Hold up three fingers on one hand, five on the other. This one is, do not steal. Do not steal. And of course, what happens if you steal? You might end up in prison. So you can also use these fingers as prison bars in front of your face. Do not steal. Commandment number nine. Four is not five. If I said four was five, that would be a lie. But four is not five, and this commandment is do not lie. Actually, the Bible says do not bear false witness against your neighbour. Tricky to remember, so just remember, do not lie. Commandment number ten. Hold up all your fingers and make a grabbing action. Because this one is do not want anything that belongs to anyone else. Do not covet. Commandment number ten. And there you have it. That's all ten commandments. If you haven't learnt them yet, why not go back, watch the video again, see if you can learn them, and maybe send a video in of you going through the commandment actions. We'd love to see it. Now before I go, here's a quick question. How does Moses make a cup of tea? Any idea? I'll tell you. He brews it. He brews, he brews, it's a joke. Well, I've been Dynamic Dan. Have a tea-lightful week. Stay awesome, and bye for now.